What is up guys? Welcome back to the Chase One Up Garage. I'm your boy Chase One Up and in today's video I'm going to be teaching y'all how to remove the oil service light off of my brand new Suzuki GSX-R 1000R and this will work for the year model 2017 all the way to 2024. Uh, so before we get started I also wanted to let y'all know I am filming on the Insta360 Ace Pro. Um, this is my new action camera that I just got a couple weeks ago. This is only my second video that I am filming with, uh, with it just now. So I'm really excited to see how this turns out. Hopefully the picture quality turns out good, the audio turns out good, and then in the future we'll do some like moto vlogs and stuff like that and see how it reacts with uh, a lot of wind and stuff like that. So uh, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take off your rear seat. We'll go ahead and lay it down over here. And you're gonna to wanna to pull out your service diagnostic port, which is this piece right here. And next you're gonna need a, a jumper. I'm just using a small thermostat wire. And you're gonna to want to plug it in the last two ports, the top and the bottom. Let me set this down real quick. Make sure it's in there secure, that way it don't fall out and lose connection. But this is going to allow us to access another part of the um, screen that otherwise you wouldn't be able to reach without it being jumped. So we'll go ahead and turn the key on. And immediately the service light pops up and then goes away. So let's go ahead and get into how we can reset that. First thing you're gonna do is press up and that'll put you into the options screen for uh, to scroll through the different options. All right, once it pops up, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure the date and time is correct or else this will not work. So we're gonna hold down on the down button to go into it. It says it is 71224, which is correct, uh, but it is 919. So let's see if we can get that a little bit closer. About a minute off. We'll accept it. 19. Click it to accept. Oh, whoops, hang on. Hold down to accept, and now we're good. And then we'll hit, we'll hold this down to go back. All right, now we're gonna wanna go back up to service, hold down for service, and then we're gonna wanna hold down again to hit reset, and then it's asking us, are you sure you wanna reset, yes or no? So we're gonna go ahead and hit down again for yes, and it is wanting us to put in the date that we want it to be the next pop-up to pull up. Um, I'm more concerned with the mileage because that's what you really go off of. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do, let's say 7,000 miles. Oops, go back. So we'll hold down on the button to accept it. And then I'm gonna go with 7,000. It goes up to 500 increments. So it'd be like 7,000, 6,500. Six, uh, 6 thousand so we're gonna do seven thousand which puts me somewhere around about uh, five thousand miles for my next service because I'm at around two thousand miles right now on this brand new bike so we're gonna hold down on it to accept it and we're somewhere right around two thousand miles um, and I want to change the oil about every 5,000 miles. So that's going to put us around the 5,000 mile mark for the next oil change. So as soon as the bike hits 7,000 miles, it's going to indicate and tell me that I need to service my bike. So let's go ahead and set this. And we are done. Now we're going to go ahead and hit exit. And exit again. And now the wrench has went away up here. 
We'll go ahead and turn the bike off. Turn it back on. And there shouldn't be a service that pops up. Yep, we are all good. Let's go ahead and turn the machine off again. We're gonna pull out this little safety pin. A little jumper. Plug this back up. It's not plugging anything, it's just basically a holster to hold it in place. Um, grab your seat. And you are all set. So uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it to this project. Um, very simple, very quick. Um, if this video ended up helping you guys out, uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button. Hit the bell notification, that way you're notified every single time I make a new video. Appreciate all the love and support, and I will catch y'all on the next one. Hopefully in a motor vlog next, to uh, show y'all what it looks like uh, out in the windy environment. So, <laughs> uh, so uh, peace, and see you on the next one. Ah.